with the food blender. It's almost midnight for me. Um, I'm going to try to do 20,000 steps in the airport before 10 a.m. As well as 100 push-ups. Let's do this. <laughs> this is going to be the food bender exercise nutty dumb idea I have. Okay. This is Alright guys, I'm back in Istanbul airport. Uh, they let us right through if you came from another flight. If you didn't, you have to go the other way to do all the security checks. Um, yeah, I have 10 hours. Everything's still open. I don't know what time things close. Maybe they don't, but I know there's got to be a lot of people who are just going to be chilling also. Yeah, you have people like just finding places to sleep. They must have long transfers also. Like yeah, knocked out. All right, I think I'm gonna go on a food binge. Let's start the uh, Istanbul airport food binge. <laughs> the last hurrah of the vacation. Jack and yeah this looks good smells good it's got cheese tomato lettuce and then there's sauce so let's try it okay so the burger is nice and fresh but it's got a good flavor but nothing like stand out ish um, it's good but it doesn't blow me away um, well that sauce that pink sauce I don't know what it is but it needs more flavor and I don't know how much I paid for this I like the bun it's nice and fluffy oh there's a piece of meat on here look at that I didn't know that so there's like a piece of ham or sauce it's like Canadian ham or something with the food bender it's almost midnight for me um, I'm gonna try to do 20,000 steps in the airport before 10 a.m. As well as 100 push-ups. Let's do this. <laughs> this is gonna be the food bender exercise nutty dumb idea I have. Okay. This is My good friend Maynard asked me to pick up a cologne at this airport, so he's been here because it's cheaper here. Uh, so I'm gonna try to find that and baklava. Yeah, he's gotten me so many shot glasses over the years I gotta repay the favor. So let's go. Let's find that also. We got a lot of things to do. Food tour 20,000 steps 100 push-ups Find the baklava. Find the cologne. Let's go. Don't worry, I have sanitizer and I'm gonna use the bathroom. That doesn't look dangerous at all. Okay, I think I'm close to finding the cologne Maynard wanted, so let's get that first. Ooh, there's a mess here. And yeah, ah, uh, let's um, oh, that smells good. Pizza. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we go to first. It's sushi conveyor belt. But I don't see anything on the plates. But yeah, I'm not gonna be getting sushi. I thought I smelled pizza.
everything looks so good. What should I get? All right, they have a whole food court here, but I don't know what's open because it's midnight. So some places are closed, some are open, and we're gonna figure it out. Let's see what we got. We have beef, beef with carrots and potatoes and rice. So this is a, it's a Muslim food. So well, it's Muslim, so there's no pork. So I thought that might be pork, but there's not. But yeah, we're gonna get right into this. Oh, this looks good. Mm, that's good. That's good, that's really good. This is way better than a burger already. So I'm kind of bummed because I thought this was going to be weighed out. Um, and that's how they come up with the price. But, you know, it's what they put on the plate. I was kind of telling the guy that's good. I messed up. Um, mm, oh my god. That's good. Yo. That is so flavorful. Wow. Damn, that tastes like steak. Wow. So, this is all a little pricey. This came out to like $21 America. It's in Turkish money, so I'm not sure what was the conversion. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, sure. Then I asked you, how much is that American? 21 about. I'm on vacation still. This is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Damn. So damn tasty. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. I don't even know what to say, guys. Everything is so good. So much flavor in both these dishes, and the rice is just nice and fluffy. I could eat so much of this. Wow. All right. Gotta continue on with. I gotta film other stuff, so I can't just focus on this. Uh, we'll see what we do next. It might be long push ups or more walking. I stumbled upon this awesome tree. It's a wish tree. Um, really awesome idea. Uh, you write a wish and you stick it on the tree. Um, I know what I'm gonna wish for. It's a secret, guys. All right, here we go. It's my rose. Issues. We're gonna put it on the wishing tree now and hope my wish comes true. Good luck. I just saw a giant sign that said I heart perfume 40% off. It's gotta be there. It's gotta be. Found it. And this is expensive. Okay. Alright guys, found the cologne. We need more steps. We're slacking on that. So we're just gonna need to walk. Walk and walk and walk. Alright, then we'll do some push-ups. Uh, I mean, we might do some push-ups now. And yeah, more steps. Alright, Omegas are pricey. They're usually like plus 5,000. Usually at least 7,000. <laughs> Man, the ones in there were like for under 5,000. And I'm just like... I can't be burning cash like that right now. <sighs> okay. Keep uh we need we need steps. Okay, I'm dizzy. Let's just walk down this dark tunnel in the airport. It's not not that far though. Oh these chairs are nice. 
Oh, you know what? Technically, this area is closed off, Iron. So technically, this area is closed off because they close it all the way from the start. That's why there's no one here. So I shouldn't be here. Let's get out of here before I get in trouble in Istanbul. <laughs> but yeah, this is a place to sleep. Nice and dark. So in the beginning, when I first got in, that was where like all the main food was and where most of the people were. So if you go far enough into the airport, which is gigantic, you'll find just like super empty spots and it's just really cool that I'm the only one here. And it's like, yo! <laughs> I'm a dark. Okay, so if you're at the airport and there's no one in the bathrooms, would you choose to use the... <laughs> I'm not trying to touch doors. That I'm gonna squat or would you actually use the one that's right next to it and actual toilet dang yeah, squat so the area I went got blocked off <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go cross a gate <laughs> yeah So I found a terrace, and this is basically where you go to smoke. Um, yeah, employees and some struggling people. So I thought it would be cooler up here, but it's not. I'm <laughs> going back in. There's a lot of smoke. I really don't know where those sleeping pods are. I really want to find a sleeping pod. All right, so I found it, but they're at max capacity, so I'll try later. This is so weird. Okay, so I got really thirsty and I haven't drank anything, so I got lemonade at this place. Five bucks for this, so airport is pricey. Shackmeister. I don't know if I have that back in New York. I forgot. Um, someone said we do. Someone said we used to. Someone said we still do. My brother said it was salty. Let's give it a go. Right here. So the Shackmeister has the crispy straws, a shack sauce, burger, and cheese. It's terrible. Not that the onions are bad, they're good. I don't think it's salty, but the meat is dry. Just because I know what a Shack Burger or Shake Shack Burger should be like, it is overly dry. Flavors there. Shack Stack would definitely have been better, but I just want to try this because I never had it. I would say the Jack Burger, Burger Jack was actually better as it was juicier. I'm just gonna finish up. I'm really thirsty. Okay, so I was supposed to get Maynard um, the baklava from here and I thought they were gonna be 24 hours, but they're closed now. Oops, now I gotta find another spot. All right guys, I finally found Maynard his baklava and I got some for mom as well. I still have a bunch of uh, steps to go. Uh, here's the hotel that I could have stayed at. It's part of the um... So I could have paid like 140 euros per night to, to stay there. I was like that's just like too much more money. So let me just... I had options. If you leave the airport it's like 30 minutes. Um, 
for you to uh, what you call it to get to uh, another hotel near the airport because this airport is like almost two hours away from the main city so there's nothing really close by so your options are limited so apparently the airport has a museum so let's check it out it looks like it's gonna be pretty good <laughs> go to sleep why waste your time sleeping yo check out the airport this place is giant Damn it, it's closed and it looks really cool in there. I should just walk in there and pretend like I don't realize what's going on. Just missed it by 46 minutes, so had I found this first, could have done it. So I found another food court and they got Carl's Jr which looks trippy, it has F in there, which looks really cool. They got Sbarro Pizza, Popeye Subway, and yogurt. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with the uh, chocolate croissant. But let's take a look at Carl's Jr. because I don't have that in New York, except in Manhattan. I walked the majority of this airport, I would say, and I pretty much gave everyone a good idea if you ever pass through the Istanbul airport, what you can see here pretty neat um, this Carl's jr. is the only place in the airport that I saw either them like a sky lounge that I don't have access to with free refills and drinks are expensive here I think this drink was around three bucks so I can sit here till the rest of my flight and just keep getting refills I'm so dehydrated right now so yeah guys Come to Carl's Jr. for your drink. Um, I just noticed on the board that they're not showing which gate I need to go to till 5.45 a.m. So I got another hour or so before that. <laughs> I'm getting tired, as you can see it in my eyes. Anyways, I'm waiting for my fries. <laughs> my beef short rib fries or something like that. I was like, ugh. got the fries with the beef short rib meat or whatever. This doesn't look that appetizing. Um, yeah, let's dig it. Nah. It's all right. You can just hear standard cheese, wet cheese mix. That cheese tastes like a macaroni and cheese mix. Oh, I'm just gonna keep eating, guys. All right, guys, this is the last thing I'm gonna eat today. We'll get dessert, breakfast dessert. Chocolate croissant, someone's favorite. Oh, I have to walk to gate D. I just saw it on board. Uh, I have about an hour till they start boarding, so I'm gonna eat this dessert, walk, my way to there I think I'm close by actually and then I'm gonna do some more push-ups so I think I'm done and try to finish those steps about 2,500 left let's go jealous right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Definitely chocolate in the inside as well. All right. oh, that's hot. I'm gonna finish up, get going. Get those steps in, get on the plane, and sleep. I'm tired. I really don't care about the airplane food today. Deuces. Hope you enjoyed the Istanbul. No, I still have to do the steps and the push ups. Maybe I might be done with push ups. I don't know. Probably, yeah. Alright, keep going.
part of me. I have 700 more steps to go, so I'm just going to keep circling around for now because I need to finish those steps before I get on. Let's go. Guys, look at that beautiful morning. I'm going home. Please do not litter in the toilet. Oops. It's all King Piggy's fault. He's the one who taught me that.